This is the fourth video for the Algebra Keystone Review packet. Uh, we'll cover 14, 15, and 16 in this video. Let's start with 14. George's car can travel about 28 miles per gallon of gas. If the car has used 10 gallons of gas, approximately how far has George driven? So you have to think about this first statement. It's really important here. So the car can travel about 28 miles per gallon of gas. I like to write an equation, but if, you're, if you struggle with writing equations, maybe make a table and think about this. Um, the miles depends on the gas, right? So the gas and the miles, gas is going to be independent. If I have one mile of gas, how far, sorry, if I have one gallon of gas, how many miles have I driven? Well, if it's 28 miles per gallon, one gallon would get me 28 miles. If I have two gallons of gas, how many miles would I have driven? Well, I can do 28 for each gallon, so 28 times 2, 56. If I have 3 gallons of gas, I would have 28 for each gallon, so 28 times 3, and so on. So you're starting to see a pattern here. Well, the equation to represent the relationship between gas and miles is going to be this. For each gallon, I travel 28 miles, or the miles is equal to 28 times the gallons, right? For this miles column, to find the miles, I did 28 times that, 28 times that, 28 times that. So this is the equation you're going to want to use. Well, if the car has used 10 gallons of gas, put in 10 now for gallons. How many miles will you have driven? What's 28 times 10? That's an easy one. It's just 280 because it's a multiple of 10. Your answer is D, 280 miles. So when you get in a word situation, it helps to start by writing an equation. Find that relationship. If you struggle with setting up an equation, maybe make a table first. Let's look at 15. If the co it costs a shoe company $20.67 to produce one pair of running shoes, the company sells each pair of shoes for $75.07 in stores. If the company sells 145 pairs of running shoes in the month of March, what is the company's approximate profit, and this is an important word, profit, from running shoes in March? You see, even though they sell the shoes for $75.07, that, that is not all profit, right? Because they have to pay for the cost of making these running shoes. So profit is always equal to what comes in or your revenue or your sales minus your cost. So let's set up an equation here. Well, we want to find the profit. We know they're going to sell 145 pairs of shoes. So how much are they going to make in sales? Well, my profit is going to be equal to whatever I make in sales. I'm selling 145 shoes, and for each one of those, how much do I make? I make $75.07. So that's all money coming in. That's going to be a positive number. But then I have to take away the cost. How much did it cost for them to produce these running shoes? It cost them $20.67 to produce one pair of running shoes. So how many did they sell? 145. How many did they produce then? 145. So we're going to be taking away 145 times the $20.67. We're taking away that, that cost. So use your calculator here and let's multiply this. 145 times 75 and 7 cents gives me $10,000. $885.15. That's how much they have coming in from the sales. But we need to take away how much it costs them to make these shoes, which is 145 times 20 and 67 cents. So we're taking away $2,997.15. Then subtract this. This is going to be your profit. So $10,885.15 minus $2,997.15 gives me $7,888.
Looking at this problem then, what is the approximate profit from the running shoes in March? Which one is closest to that? A would be my best answer. Now, on any estimating problems, you can round in the work to make it easier, okay? But if you have a calculator on this, which on the keystones you will have a calculator, then you can also just find the exact answer and see which one's closest. If I wanted to estimate this, I could have rounded this to about $20 to produce one pair or about $21 to produce one pair, and I could have rounded this to about $75 as coming in. Your answer, if you rounded those, would be around 7,830 or 7,975. Either way, A would still be your best answer. So in my work, I actually found the exact answer, but you, and you could round to estimate. Perfect. Last problem for this video, 16. A fast food restaurant sells between 164 and 328 hamburgers per day. If the company profits $82 per 82 hamburgers sold, approximately how much does the company profit in one year from hamburgers? Okay, this problem's just, you know, it's worded kind of different. It's actually worded a little bit tricky. Okay, so break it apart. The company profits $82 per 82 hamburgers. What does that really tell you? They're saying it in a more complex way. How much do they make off of each hamburger? Well, if it's $82 per 82 hamburgers, then that's actually $1 per hamburger, right? Per one hamburger. So if we know that they're going to be selling hamburgers for a whole year, think about how many days that is. One year is how many days? It's 365 days. Well, on each of those days, they're going to sell between 164 hamburgers to 328 hamburgers because that's per day. We'll find the lower end. If they sold 164 hamburgers every day of the year, how many hamburgers would they sell? Find the, up, the higher end, if they sell 328 hamburgers per day, how much money will they be bringing in? And then we can see which of these answers is within that range. So if they sell 164 hamburgers per day, how much are they making off of each hamburger? They're making just $1. So really, I could multiply it by the cost, but the cost here is 1, so that doesn't change anything. And then multiply it by how many days they're doing this for. They're selling this many hamburgers for a whole year, 365 days. Use your calculator, find how much profit that would be. Do the same thing then to the other one. Their profit is going to be somewhere between these two amounts of money. So three, if they sold 328 hamburgers every day for a year, they would make $1 off of each hamburger, and then they would sell it for 365 days, find, use your calculator, find how much that would be. You're going to circle the answer that's in between these two values. So 164 times 365 is $59,860. $59, if they sell the maximum amount every day, they can make up to $119,720. So which one of these answers is, seems to be appropriate? It's between about 60,000 and 120,000. This one's too high. This one's 7 million. That's way too high. D's too low, so your answer is going to be A. About $89,790 is how much the, comp the company could profit in one year. Remember, if you still have questions, please see your teacher.